There it is. The M6. We had to uh, put this plate on it right here because of these ridges that run. This is a F-150, 2011. So this thing, it spins freely, right? And right now it's in standby mode, which is why it's pointed down. So by default, it'll be down. It remembers where it's at. And it just rides like that. You have this uh, VNC connector, the antenna. I just, it folds up, but I just turn it down, keep it out. It works incredibly well. And that's what she looks like on top of the truck. What about suction cups? Oh yeah, so good call. So the whole point in this is that these suction cups right here are, you pump these and it locks down on the suction cup. But with these grooves in the, in the cab of the truck on the roof, they do not work. Um, all four of them won't actually hit this so we siliconed or jb welded a piece of uh, plate steel like just flat steel from home depot i think it's like 18 inches by 18 inches or something like that put it down and then rattle canned it and believe it or not the rattle can it actually like the suction cup it works way better with rattle can paint than it does with this paint for some reason i'm not sure but it's like solid you can yank on it pull on it and then you just flip these little tabs up to get it loose and the red indicator will pop out put it down just pump it and you're you're set you're back down how about in here onto the truck onto the truck the good stuff so <clears throat> what do you got matt oh boy we have to, we get it set up here <laughs> so Everybody's going to rig their truck differently. But we just pre-drilled a hole straight through. Yeah. Because so, this is never going to leave the truck. Yeah. So whenever you're done using it, this... Let me get in here. So, I got I got you. Oh. How's so, this rip off of here? It's just magnetic. Oh, 10-4. So, to start with, we were using an older iPad. This is the, like a, I don't know, 12th generation or sixth generation or whatever it is so that opens up goes in there ta-da it sits so this is something that's really important <clears throat> one let's go over the power supply so first this wire runs up goes down it's our remote this is your joystick to run the m6 this portion of the power cable here i just snaked around and ran down to here. I'll probably do something else with that, but for the time being, it works. And then we're charging phones and stuff, so I got a splitter. So <clears throat> for the uh, power outlet. So this side plugs into, I'm doing it with one hand. Blah, blah, blah. So you plug this in, and then it's on. So at this point, your M6 is on. Um, to give it a second, so see how it says connected device Wi Fi? This is probably one of the more aggravating things about it. So we'll go out of this. One, the app doesn't turn sideways. So you have to turn your cellular data off. And then we'll go, where's our settings? We'll go to settings, Wi-Fi. We're gonna make sure that the M6 is connected. There we go. Should be connecting. So when we go up and we're going to get rid of, turn off the IRA app, go back to the IRA app. In this mode, it does not turn horizontal. We just leave it. Then you hit viewfinder and you've got it. It takes just a minute. So there we go. So this is it. And we leave this joker running the entire time. So now you got your remote you can move it around Let's see if we can see this so the bottom button hits the laser there it is i don't know if you can see it over there or not no 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 it's kind of hard to see in the daytime 
but it's over there. So this green, the green indicator is your laser. The top button will do a range finder, puts them both on there. Works incredibly well. Um, we, you can look at the, you can go over the functions if you want to on another video. But you hit record, you hit record here, and zoom in. I'll just run through them real quick. Up here in this corner, there is a little indicator on the truck. So as Matt moves it around, see that green line moving? And that's where it's looking in relation to the truck. So, and then in the top right hand corner here, you hit this button, it'll nuke it. Um, pretty, pretty important. It matters, I guess would be the, the point whenever, especially if it's like humidity doesn't seem to affect this much, but um, fog does. So we get lots of fog and it, it's foggy almost every night here in the North Georgia mountains, especially in the summertime. So that's what we're running on. I'm gonna jump up here, Matt, move that joker around so we can see what it looks like when it moves. Yeah, up and down. Yeah, and it moves pretty quick. Like you wouldn't think that that's moving very fast, but when you compare that to the screen, it is moving. So <clears throat> that's pretty much how we've got it set up. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, another thing, pop the hood for me. <clears throat> so this is gonna be pretty important right here. We leave this running all the time and it doesn't turn off with the truck. So we run cell phone boosters and everything. This is a lithium battery. Really, 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 really important for how I'm doing this because you will run your truck battery dead. We, we will leave it on all night. Like we turn it on, go hunt, don't turn it off until we're done. We will literally hunt with it all night. Um, but I run a cell phone booster and we charge stuff. If my truck battery goes dead, all I have to do is hit this button and it reserve, it's a starting battery. So it saves enough juice to turn the truck over again. Really, really important. You will end up with a battery that won't start your truck if you're not careful. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. And then <clears throat> back in here. <clears throat> so with it, with it all set up, we pretty much, th there are other videos that cover the function. So you're, you're welcome to go watch them or what have you. But this unit is awesome. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit more about it in a podcast. I think it is going to be number eight. Yeah. Eight or nine. It'll either be podcast number eight or nine. Um, I will, I'll throw a link to it in the description of this video, but we're going to talk about it because at the moment, I think we have somewhere around uh, like 200 hours, roughly looking through it. It's been on four trips, uh, four, like not hunting around the house trips, four four trips two of them were two days and two of them were three days so in those in those hours we we hunted on average 30 hours um 30 32 hours in three days so we're we have that plus all the time around the house so if this truck leaves the house at night this m6 gets turned on and you can see it scanning going down uh going down the road but i'll cut this here and then patch some what, in videos yeah, not we'll, videos going in yeah we'll put in some videos on it and i'm not sure if i'll overlay any audio over it or not but you'll have that so tell matt bye appreciate it peace out like and subscribe <laughs>